G'day guys, uh, Homeless Guy here, and today I have a tutorial for you, uh, in Cinema 4D. Um, currently there's a lot of intros and stuff going around where you can see this kind of effect happening, where there's an animated outline going around, uh, some text. So I'll just show you this in Cinema 4D here. You can see it's pretty cool. So, let's jump into the tutorial on how to do this. It's actually really really easy, like before I knew how to do it, I just had no idea, but it is so easy. So you want to go MoGraph, MoText, uh, let's just call it, um, let's say Homeless, uh, give it a cool font, there, that looks fine, put it in the middle here, give it some depth, oops, um, and now we're gonna go up here, no, not there. Um, and you're gonna create text right there. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna rename it to the exact same thing. You're gonna put it in the same place and give it the same font right there. And so now you can see that's it right there at the front of the text. Okay, I need to stop doing that. So now you're going to go up here, you're going to add a sweep, some sweep nerves, go here, add a circle. Uh, you're going to put the circle underneath the sweep nerves, and then the text underneath the circle. Now this is going to happen, you want to change the circle radius to about one centimeter. Um, and so now you see you've got this kind of outline effect. If you go to the circle and you turn the radius up, that's how you make it bigger or smaller. And so now, what the sweep nerves does is that you it, you can like uh, essentially sweep, I guess you could say. So if I turn down the end growth all the way to zero, you can see that there's no outline. And if I put it up to 100%, then it outlines the text. So what you do, you can just uh, keyframe the end growth there by control clicking the little dot there. Go up 90 frames or so, change it to 100%, add a keyframe. And now you have this cool outline effect. So as well as the end growth, as you can see here, if I turn that up, you've also got the start growth, which is essentially if you've got some end growth, then that'll kind of take it away. So if you want to have an outline around the text, but you don't want it to be there all at the same time, then you can use this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the end growth, Put it all the way up here, 100%. And so now we've got this outline effect like we had before, unless I've stuffed something out. I forgot to set a keyframe. There we go. And so now I'll add about 20 frames in. I'm going to keyframe the start. And then let's go to 110 frames here. And then keyframe the start again. So now as you can see, as it starts outline, it also takes away from the back of it. So that's just a little cool effect you can do. Now to give it a material, you want to go down here. Uh, you don't have to follow exactly what I do, but I think this adds a pretty cool effect. Just going to go to luminance. Uh, here I'm going to add a color. Let's go with green. and turn the brightness all the way up to 200%. Now I'm going to add that to the sweep nerves up here. So you can see it doesn't look exactly green in the editor, like looks really bright, but it's not actually that bright. So now let's add a floor, uh, add some reflection, add that to the floor, and now we're going to go into the render settings. So I'd recommend adding ambient occlusion, that just puts shadows in between, like whatever edges are close together. Then go effect, global illumination. Now, my preferred settings for this is to change it to the legacy version. If you're using R13 or lower, then that'll be the normal one. Change samples to low, go to the radiance cache and change this to low. Now let's give it a render. And as you can see, it gives a pretty cool effect. So yeah, that's pretty much how to do that. Now, um, the reason why I added a circle for the outline 
is because that's the shape that this gives here. As you can see, it's sort of a circle shape. I can go here and say, let's get a flower. I will put that there, get rid of that. Then I'll change the radius down to like one by two. And you can see that you get that kind of a shape. It's hard to see that that's a flower, but if I just add it again, find where it is. Then you can kind of see that that's the kind of shape it's giving here. So you've got the two lines here and then these two here. And so yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.